Welcome to Berlin Peck Memorial Library's Take and Make video tutorials. This is for our sixth Take and Make kit, woven paper bag baskets. In your kit, you will receive a paper bag and you'll also receive paper to do these rolled paper roses, which are embellishments on the basket. The video tutorial for these roses is a separate video uh, that we created about a year ago when we did this as a program. So you can refer to that video for how to make these little embellishments. My instruction today will teach you how to make this basket, which measures four and a quarter inches by four and a quarter inches by three inches. We're going to start our basket with a regular grocery bag. You want to find the seam on your grocery bag. And with a pair of scissors, we're going to cut along that seam just to open the bag. Actually, um, before we do that, if your bag has handles on it, like mine does, you can just gently pull those off and set them aside. If you want a simple handle for your basket, you can use one of these on your, on your new basket as a handle. Okay, so now we've got those handles pulled off. Just cut along the seam to open up the, the bag. Once you've cut down all the way, now we're going to cut around and cut off the bottom. So here's the bottom, here's the body of our bag. Um, we're going to take this bottom and we're going to cut off four pieces. These pieces will serve as braces, which will help us in the weaving. Doesn't really matter um, how wide they are, but this size works pretty well. So I've got four and that's all I need. Now we want to open up the bag with the printed side up. I've opened up my bag and now I'm going to mark one and a quarter inch, every one and a quarter I'm going to mark because we're going to cut these into strips. So you can see this is the, um, the long part of the bag that's opened up. We need 22 strips for our basket today. So use your ruler. I've already done markings at one end. I'm going to do markings at the other end and then we'll line them up. Okay, I'm gonna go back and count, make sure I made as, as many as I need. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22. Okay, so that's our 22. Now, take your ruler and you just want to line up your marks on each side. So like I said, I had previously done my marks at the bottom. Which, this is such a big bag, it's hard for you to see. Okay. So now you can see, it's hard to see because I used a pencil, but I have marks on both sides. So just take your pencil and your ruler and go ahead and make lines all the way across.
Okay, I have 22 strips now. Uh, I forgot to mention that if you use the handle from a bass from a bag, um, and you don't want to do the handle that looks like this, then you will only need 20 strips instead of 22. Now you can take your scissors and just cut along those lines that you've made. I'm going to cut, a, cut off the excess first just to make it easier to work with. I've finished my cutting, and here are my 22 strips of paper. Before I do anything else, I'm going to remove eight strips of paper. These are going to be glued together to become the long pieces, which are going to go around the basket. and just set the rest of your strips aside. All right, now's the time to grab your hot glue gun. You can use regular glue if you want. Uh, you'll just have to make sure you hold, give things dry time. So make sure, check your strips. You wanna make sure that you are gluing together on the wrong side. You wanna make sure you keep your nice clean side on the outside. These two don't really matter here. So I'm going to put just a little bit of glue at one end and attach my other one. You're going to have plenty of paper left over, so don't worry about how much you overlap. And continue on. So here's one where we have the, the wrong side. We want to make sure we put our wrong sides together. The next step is to take all of your strips and fold them in half. Make sure you look at them first to see if you have a wrong side. You want to make sure the wrong side gets folded to the inside so we have a nice solid brown to the outside. Now, this is a great thing that you can do while you're watching TV or listening to an audiobook that you've checked out from the library because you don't really have to think about this too much. Once you get to the weaving, you're going to want to put your whole focus on what you're doing. But this is just easy peasy folding. So carry on, fold all your strips, and I'll see you back when my strips are all finished. All right, I have folded all of my 22 strips in half. Here's my shorter ones, here's the longer ones. And we're gonna set the longer ones aside for the moment. And I want you to grab the four pieces that you cut earlier for your brace pieces. Now we need 12 of our strips, six and six. You should, if you cut extra strips for handles, then you'll have two extras, which you can set aside at this time. Okay, so set aside six of those, and we're gonna start with just six and one brace piece. And we're going to glue these six pieces onto the brace piece. This is gonna help us when we weave, it just helps keep all the strips together. As you glue these on, make sure they face the same way. So I'm gonna have the, the open side of the fold 
Uh, it doesn't matter which way they face, but just make sure you keep it consistent whichever way you choose. And you want to glue these right next to each other. Now, if you want, you can see how they're kind of flapping open. This this piece is going to be cut off at the end, but to help keep your strips down so that they cooperate while you weave, if you want to glue these ends down, you can certainly do that. Now set that aside and we're going to do the same thing with your other six strips and another brace piece. Now we're going to take the two pieces that we just created and we're going to weave these together. When we weave them together, it will form the base of the basket. As you weave, you may find it helps to kind of pull some out of the way and just put something heavy on them so that they're not in your way as you weave. So this is just basic weaving over, under, over, under. So you can see I've gotten my base basically woven together. What you spend some time just getting things nice and tight together. You don't have to worry about getting it totally tight because we are now going to add two more brace pieces and this will help us keep things together. When you do this, just make sure that you have all your pieces very tight next to one another on this brace piece so that it helps you keep your shape. And now we'll do the same thing on the last side. Okay, so now you have, unfortunately I can't zoom out anymore, but you have this little structure here. Now you might need to shift things around. You want to get this section roughly in the middle. So just shift things around so that you have about equal distance on both right and left and top and bottom. I have that pulled in pretty tightly. It's okay if you've got a little bit of space. This is a rustic kind of basket that we're doing. So once you have it pretty tight, take each side and fold it over. This will help keep things in, in place and also help you have some shape to work around as you weave the sides of the basket.
So just repeat that on all four sides. Now that we have our base folded, just kind of make sure you pull it in tightly again. And this is where these brace pieces are going to come in handy for us. Hopefully you have some paper clips or clothes pins. You can do it without, but it's helpful to sort of use these brace pieces to help keep the shape while you work on the weaving around the edges. So just so you can see, I'm just bringing the edges up. It's not, um, not like super tight or anything, but just trying to bring those up. And if you have one piece longer than another and you have a hard time, just, just trim it off so that you can uh, get your clip on there. Okay, so we have our basic basket shape. Now we're going to use the, oops, the long strips, the four long strips that you created. And we're just going to do that same weaving that we did before. Now make sure you look where your, where your weaving is as you start. So my bottom, this strip is on the top. I'm going to bring it underneath. I find it's easy to kind of bring bring it to about the halfway point. And then um, actually, if you can see, see, I don't have mine folded quite straight. I have the fold down to the bottom. If that bothers you, you can go and trim it off. I'm not gonna worry about it actually. Now, yep, just work your way around the basket. Definitely helpful to work your way around on the folded side rather than the open side. Okay, so I've done those two sides. I'm just gonna flip it over and do the other. It's not necessarily gonna wanna stay in place as you work your way through, so don't worry about that. Um, you can tighten all of this up later on. sides woven for this first strip that goes around. And try to get it in place a little bit. And then just use another little clip on the end to keep it secure. And we're going to repeat that three more times with our other long strips. You can um, alternate where you start so that all your pieces don't end 
in the same corner, if you like. Make sure you are keeping that weaving pattern alternating unders and overs. I'm also paying attention to where my open side is, so I'm making sure I'm keeping my open side down. strips that go around the basket are now done. The next step is to work on tightening all of the weave and securing the ends. The first thing you can do is trim off some of the excess. You don't need all this extra. Starting with the bottom, you want to make sure that things are tight all the way around, that your weave is tight all the way around. If not, go ahead and um, pull it secure. Just make sure it's not too tight because then it will change your nice square shape. Now, to work these ends in, I'm going to cut off even a little more. One of these will work inside the basket. So this one goes inside. This one, we can work through the weave on the outside. So just follow the pattern that you already have. Now, you can see how that's, that piece is sticking out. So I'm gonna pull this out and just trim it off because I would like the piece to end underneath so we don't see it. And it'll make our basket look much more finished. And you can take a little bit of hot glue and put it right in there to secure it so it won't come loose. So try to hold things down nice and tight. 
and press your two strips together. The more we secure these strips around, the more secure the whole basket is going to get. Now I still have this other little strip on the inside. I think you can see it sticking out right over there. So I'm going to work that in as well. You won't really be able to see this, but I'll show you the finished product. If you find it too difficult to work on the inside of the basket, then by all means, feel free to just cut off an end and hot glue it. Okay, so you can see the end right down there. I've just hot glued it. That bottom layer is really hard to tuck under, so don't worry about that if you just hot glue it. It'll be fine. So now we're gonna work on our second layer. I'm going to bring that weave down just nice and tight. I've got a corner there, it's not cooperating. So I'm removing the paper clip. If you're having trouble with things loosening up, feel free to just put a little dot of hot glue. So like this, that'll help keep things in place as you work with them. Work your way around. Okay, so again, here's my strip that's going to go to the inside. I can see that one's going to be just a little too long. I'm going to go ahead and trim it. can secure or work in your strip that's on the inside. Okay, so two of our ends are tucked under. Now let's work on the third. All this is going to tighten down once you get up to the top. So I just want to point out, you may see this, this is where we joined our two strips together. If you want to hide that, just adjust where your strip falls. That'll make for a prettier finished product. this piece under my other one. Okay, so as you can see, need to do a little trimming here. Feel free to secure these little ends together. This 
same on the other side. There's my end. And now for the last strip. Before I secure this last piece, I'm just going to cut these off now. I don't need them anymore because we're going to now use some of those paper clips to help everything stay secure. So I'm just pushing this down. and securing a few of them. That'll help keep everything in place. This is my very last long piece that goes around. I'm just going to put some glue and secure that. And now you can start finishing the top. So all these pieces are going to get trimmed a little shorter. You want to make sure that as you fold them down, you pull everything nice and tight. I'm just eyeballing. So if your strip is on the outside, you're going to fold it over to the inside. If your strip is on the inside, fold it over to the outside. And we're just going to secure with hot glue. After you're finished, if you wanted to dress up the top, you could take some of your extra paper bag and cut a strip to go around the entire top. You could fold it in half so that it would cover the whole top. You're going to need a strip that's longer than an inch and a quarter just to go over the edge. Now I've secured it down and I'm also adding another little bit of a hot glue to the inside so that my half piece doesn't flop open. I'll show you on the outside because it's a little easier to see there. So. Okay. so a little bit of glue just to hold that down and you see how that edge that edge wants to come up so I'm just going to add a little glue in there to hold that edge down then just continue working your way around make sure you pull it up nice and tight before you trim and glue it sticking out, just scrape it away with this scrap paper.
and the base of your basket is done. All right, so I made a mistake earlier when I told you to fold these in half. Um, the handle pieces I actually folded in thirds. They need to be a little smaller to, um, to do the little crisscross back and forth. It also gives them a little more strength. So it's no big deal if you already folded yours in half, like I did with mine. Forgot that I had done this in thirds. So just go back, fold these pieces in thirds, and secure with some glue at, at each end. Now, take your two strips and you want to glue them at the bottom. Make sure you've got right sides up. Just glue those at a bit of an angle. Hold that in place until it dries. And then we're just going to twist back and forth. Okay, so I just took the underneath, the, the left hand was underneath, so I put it on top. And then back and forth under over again. All the way until you get to the end again. And glue that other end and hold it until it's secure. So it naturally already wants to curve. It's gonna be longer than you need it to be. So if you need to trim it, that's fine. Or if you want a really high handle, you can use the whole thing. Just decide what you want. Place it in the center on your side. Decide how long, how far down you want it to go. I'm gonna bring mine all the way to the bottom. So put some hot glue on it. You can do another little dot up near the top to hold it secure. And press and hold that. And then just repeat on the other side. Your paper bag basket is now finished. If you want that extra challenge or to really pretty up your basket, then go ahead to the other tutorial and create some beautiful book page roses to add to your basket. If you'd like to do a more simple handle like is on this basket, you can simply reuse the handles on your paper bag if you've got a paper bag with a handle, or you can create one Cut a strip, just like you did before, one and a half inches wide, fold it in thirds, and then just secure on the inside of your basket.